Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about minimalist, specifically the new minimalist sunscreens that everybody and their mother and their neighbor has some kind of an opinion about. In my previous minimalist video, we spoke about their vitamin C, alpha arbutin, the chemical peel and the retinol. So if you want to check that out, you can check it out right here. To quickly summarize, I loved the products mostly but I just had a problem with their packaging. Well, luckily I have absolutely no problem with their sunscreen packaging. They're absolutely travel friendly, easy to use. They come with a nice air pump which keeps the product itself nice and fresh until you finish it up. So let's move on to the actual review. Minimalist has launched two new sunscreens, one of which is the SPF of 50 broad spectrum version with a multi vitamin concoction with vitamin A, B, E and F. This will cost you 389 rupees for 50 ml which I think is absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. The second sunscreen that they have is the SPF of 60 with Silymarine, which is a very, very powerful antioxidant, which is kind of new in the skincare market. It's resurfacing. It's got a lot of skincare benefits, guys. And it costs you 589 rupees for 50 ml. Right off the bat, what I love about both of these sunscreens are how comfortable they are on the skin in spite of the extremely high protection that they offer. Both of them are hybrid which means they have physical and chemical filters in them. They both have four filters and all of which I will leave in the description bar below. Minimalist has also mentioned all of their filters and their pH value and everything right on the outer carton and in depth on their website. So all the information is given right to you. You can check it out yourself. But coming to how comfortable they feel, guys, they actually just feel like a moisturizer. They don't have that sticky, icky, greasy feeling that usually you get from a sunscreen. No irritants, no drying alcohols, no essential oils, no oils, no flashback, no gray cast. They are reef safe. They are suitable for all skin type and they do not sting the eye. Now, if you've been keeping up with skincare news, you know that in 2020 and 2021, a lot of sunscreens failed third party sunscreen tests. They came back with values that were much, much, much lesser than what was written on the label of the sunscreen itself, especially a lot of Korean sunscreens, which were very, very popular, which is very, very unfortunate because we place all of our trust and, you know, our skin on these tubes of sunscreen. Anyways, to prevent such a mishap, what minimalists did is during the whole formulation process, they send these sunscreens for 18 rounds of tests and every single time they came back with values that are similar to what is written on the tube itself. So you are getting what you are promised and they have published all of their test results and everything on their website. So you can take a look at it yourself, which if you ask me, gives me a lot of piece uh, you know like it's not like oh I don't know what I'm applying on my skin god only knows if it's working or not but we apply it's not like that you actually get to see the test results which is uh, great uh, from a brand's perspective you know the transparency is absolutely amazing all right let's take a closer look at the SPF of 50 with multivitamins now this contains a whole plethora of powerful antioxidants like vitamin A panthenol hyaluronic acid niacinamide vitamin E and vitamin F niacinamide as you know from my channel I absolutely love the skincare benefits of niacinamide for all types of skin oily normal acne prone dry sensitive niacinamide benefits everyone for the poor health for the barrier health for the sebum production it controls the uh, oil production of your skin it reduces you know hyperpigmentation evens out your skin tone gives your skin a glow makes your skin barrier healthy so all in all niacinamide is absolutely amazing then they also have hydrating ingredients like panthenol and hyaluronic acid they've got vitamin e which is a super antioxidant and also vitamin f now there are a lot of concerns with vitamin a which is also a super um, antioxidant it is also retinol there is a study that was conducted in 2000 which is bringing up a lot of concerns for skin enthusiasts about adding retinol palmitate in a sunscreen but when you take this study in context with our antioxidant that is present in the human skin this concern is 
quite questionable because in conjunction with antioxidants, retinol palmitate or vitamin A actually neutralizes free radical damage. So vitamin A can be quite beneficial when added to a sunscreen. I have found studies and articles regarding vitamin A in sunscreens. Now if you would like to take a look at it, I will leave those links right down in the description bar below. Read away to glory. But anyways, since there are so many confusions about vitamin A and concerns about vitamin A, I probably personally would have preferred it without vitamin A but on a personal note I can tell you that this is the sunscreen that I prefer to use when I'm in India and I have not noticed any irritation any redness any sort of negative reaction to my skin I've been using it since October like I said both in Kerala and in Mumbai it's all India I understand but still the level of pollution heat humidity varies greatly between Kerala and Mumbai and my skin has just loved it sucked up every last inch of the SPF of 50 with multivitamin sunscreen and the price point of it also 389 rupees for a 50 ml tube of sunscreen makes this so accessible that you know people with any budget can access this they're giving you a high quality sunscreen for less than 400 rupees this is a hybrid sunscreen which means it contains both physical and chemical filters now because this has vitamin A in it I would recommend pregnant or breastfeeding women to stay out of this but everybody else can definitely use this sunscreen and gain all the benefits the sunscreen is broad spectrum it contains PA plus 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 which means that this sunscreen will protect you both from UVA radiations and UVB radiations when it comes to this sunscreen I've seen quite a lot of people talk about it pilling or turning up into balls or rolling off when you layer over skincare products I have layered it on top of multitude of skincare products and it has actually never pilled on me so I do not know if it is a skin type kind of a thing or if you're applying too much of sunscreen if that's even a possibility but as you can see on my hand I put an entire pump just on the surface area of my palm really rubbed it in there is absolutely no gray cast and there is no pilling so at least on my skin type um, it has not pilled at all it has been only comfortable and very long wearing and a very pleasant experience for me the multivitamin with SPF of 50 is a version that I prefer to use here in India. Alright, now let's talk about the SPF of 60 with Silymarine. What is Silymarine? Silymarine is a very, very powerful antioxidant which is kind of creeping up into the skincare game now. A study showed that Silymarine inhibits melanin synthesis which means that it could be really, really beneficial in reducing hyperpigmentation. Apart from that, Silymarine is also amazing to control oil production and also reduce skin inflammation and photo damage that happens to the skin after UV exposure. This is amazing for people with oily, acne prone, blemish prone skin because of its ability to control oil production of the skin. Silymarine also protects the skin against environmental damage like pollution. So all in all, I think this is a really nice sunscreen to have. Once again, this is broad spectrum. It has PA of plus, 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 plus. It has four filters and it is a hybrid sunscreen, which means it has both chemical and physical filters. All of the details of the filters that they use and the lab test results and everything will be linked down in the description bar below and also on B Minimalist website, which will again be linked down in the description bar below. This sunscreen also also feels like a very luxurious moisturizer on the skin it is very light very easy application the only thing that I noticed is that it kind of made me sweat here in India so this is the one that I took to Europe and it was so amazing it worked so amazingly in that dry winter months so if you're looking for a really protective sunscreen during winter this is the one for you and also the fact that this contains silymarine which is so amazing for people with oily acne prone skin this might be the one you might want to gravitate towards if you're confused between the multivitamin one and the silymarine one. This sunscreen costs you 589 rupees for 50 ml. If you'd like to see me apply the sunscreen real time and layer this on top of my skincare products, definitely check out my winter travel skincare routine, which I showed right here. This sunscreen did not cause any grey cast on me either. It did not cause any pilling and absolutely no flashback. So if you look at any of my pictures or videos from Switzerland and Paris on Instagram, this is a sunscreen I've had under every single look of mine. Every single day I've been very religious with my sunscreen. Even when I'm going out in the mountain in the snow, it's so important to protect your skin guys because snow is so reflective. It reflects all of that UV radiations right on your skin. So even on gloomy days, please, please, please remember to 
apply your sunscreen on rainy days gloomy days cloudy days you have to apply sunscreen okay so you can go back to those pictures and see i have pictures at night i have the, because i get ready in the morning i apply my skincare then the sunscreen and i get out and i don't have time to wash my face and you know apply specific makeup for nighttime or anything and this did not flash back in any one of my single pictures and really this is so comfortable so long wearing never broke me out silymarine especially is also non comedogenic which means it does not clog your pores absolutely love it guys this video is in partnership with minimalist guys but <laughs> I know at this point a lot of you are turned off by the whole idea that it is in partnership but if I did not like this I would not speak about it and I tested this out for at least 3 months if not more and uh, yeah I will leave all the links of where you can purchase them and whatever you may need right down in the description bar below thank you so much for watching this video guys if you want any other additional information please feel free to ask in the comment section below I love you so much and also have you used these sunscreens yet am I the last one on the planet to review the, these sunscreens and let me know um, i shall see you in my next one Mwah. bye